When I graduated from university, I did so with honors, which meant I achieved, at least to someone's satisfaction, a certain degree of academic excellence. But why is that the only kind of excellence that's recognized? Instead of just graduating with honors, why shouldn't we offer other classifications, such as with part-time work, with a full-time job, or as a single parent? It's an interesting question and one that my wife asked me to think about last week as I began teaching a course in journalism at the University of Victoria because thanks to tuition fee increases brought in by the Campbell administration, my students are now paying about twice as much as I did when I was going to university. Now, in, in fairness, British Columbia has nowhere near the highest undergraduate fees in the country. Five other provinces come in ahead of us in fiscal 2008-09. Nevertheless, those increased fees mean only the lucky, the privileged, or the talented can afford to focus full time on their studies, making it more difficult for everyone else to achieve the kind of excellence, the kind of academic excellence that would ensure British Columbia is the most educated jurisdiction on the continent. So here's my proposal to the government. Recognize the additional financial hardships post-secondary students now face or work harder to alleviate them. It's just that simple.